What's up everyone, Drew and Hunter from Misfit Athletics here to talk to you about some muscle up tips. We're gonna to try to give you one pointer for each phase of the muscle up. One of the most often seen muscle up drills that there is, is getting your hips up to the rings. And while that demonstrates really good hip extension, it's a nice drill to understand how to get our body to kind of move up through hip extension. One thing that it does is it creates a scenario where someone's head and neck kind of lean back super far, which is sort of the opposite of the momentum we're trying to create. As we get that hip extension, we're actually trying to get our head and torso through the rings. So one of the cues that we use to fix this is we have the athlete find a place straight across in the gym that they can stare at that's close to eye level when you're actually up on top of the rings. And what that does, like with a lot of other movements, the eyes and the head, the body will follow. So if he's looking in that position, there's a pretty good chance he's not gonna like peek down as far, the, as far as he can and then go through. So I'm gonna have him do a rep for you guys and I really just want you to watch how his head and his torso follow where his gaze is. Great. So we still get that awesome hip extension, but we know that when it's time to throw our head and our torso through, that we don't have this huge range of motion to travel through. Now we're gonna talk about how to kip the dip. The first thing that I'm gonna go through here is I'm gonna have him go up on top, catch into support, and I want you guys to watch what happens with his lower half. Good. So as you see there, his feet naturally come back under his, under his center of gravity. And he's got two choices there. He can drive the knees up or he can continue that momentum and do a little bit more of a butt kick. What is important here is that we don't stop. As your head and your chest go through, your lower half comes back down. Use that momentum to kip your dip. So he's gonna do another rep for us here. And as he goes up through and as his legs come under, he's going to use his momentum to drive his body up. Good, so you see there he's got a little bit of that butt kip going on. Um, it's really kind of a, a preference thing here. What feels natural in your movement to you as long as you're continuing momentum. And then this last part here, one of my favorite muscle up cues, if you are sort of past getting up over, past getting that dip, but wonder why you can't really string them together, we need to create that pendulum effect that we know so well from the pull up bar. So when you watch on this rep, I want you to see how as he gets done his dip, his torso goes backwards, not straight down, and his legs are out in front. So that when he gets to the bottom, they trade places naturally and we get some free momentum. We can lower our heart weight, we can heart rate, and we can breathe through these reps. Great, so just a quick recap. We're gonna find a place out on the wall somewhere in the gym that is, that is gonna be eye level for you guys as you're up over the rings. We're gonna continue the momentum of our lower half to create that dip and we are always going to push out from the top, get our feet back in front to get that momentum. Whether you're trying to get your first muscle up or whether you're trying to string a bunch together, all three tips are gonna be helpful for you. Good luck.